Hi, this is Dr. Campbell. I wanted to talk to you all today about an article that I was reading. It's actually an article about Obama and uh, presently Attorney General Holder. And what they were saying in the article was that Obama has actually, him and Holder, have their responses have made race relations in America worse. And I was like, wow, you know, because they didn't take the side with the police. And the police have responded to Mayor de Blasio by turning their back on him at a recent funeral. So it's really jumping off the hook. But what I wanted to know was, as a proposed black president, why did it take so long for Obama to respond to these atrocities? And there are two main reasons why. The first reason is that Obama is supported by a bureaucracy. And because he's not an elected official, he's really not part of the bureaucracy, but he is. And when they give policy and they make laws, the bureaucracy and those elements outside of the bureaucracy have an opportunity to interpret policy and to interpret laws according to their perspective. This is why we still have racial profiling. Even in 2003, when George Bush made it illegal for over 70, about 70 federal agencies to racially profile, they knew that the executive order did not have much teeth. And that's because people interpret and, and they implement policy and laws according to their perspective. Now, the second reason why it took them so long is because of the recelerate phenomenon. And the recelerate phenomenon states that any action against a white female is met with an opposite, excessive reaction towards the black male. And because Obama has a white mother, if he comes against racism in America, he's actually coming against his white mother. And so according to the recelerate phenomenon, he actually had to wait for a while, and there had to be a lot of pressure put on him to do something about it. Otherwise, I believe he would have just let it go. Now, you can read about this uh, entire article on my blog at www.positiveracialrelationships.com, or you can call me on my direct line, 856-566-3267. Thank you very much, and have a great day.